For most folks, Shanling is actually an unknown name. But for audiophiles like me, Shanling is actually a household name. This Shenzhen-based hi-fi equipment manufacturer is well known for its affordable high-res digital audio players. Now, last year, I reviewed the Shanling M0 and liked it a lot, primarily because it was this cute little DAP that also came with high-res capability and had extremely good UI as well. Now, one of the things that is common with most Chinese hi-fi or you know chi fi players is that design is not something that they're very good at. But Shanling is an outlier in that regard, which is why I was pretty stoked to test out these two babies out here. This is the Shanling MTW100, which is their first pair of truly wireless earbuds. Now these come in two variants, one which comes with balanced armature drivers and the other that comes with dynamic drivers. What are the differences? How do they sound like? What do you get with both these excellent pair of truly wireless earbuds is something I'm going to test out in this video. I'm a shot from Mr. Phone and let's get down to our review of what I think is possibly the best budget truly wireless earbuds out there. So to start off with the design, the Shanling MTW100 comes in three different color options. The balanced armature variant is available in two color options. One that is available in, in black with orange accents and another one that is available in red with black accents. Now the dynamic driver one comes in only one color, which is the white color with red accents. Now the box itself comes in this square shape form factor, which is very cute with curves all around. It's very similar to the design aesthetic of the M0 player that I spoke about earlier. Now one of the interesting things about the balanced armature variant is that it definitely costs 1000 rupees more but you get wireless charging with only the balanced armature variant of the MTW100. So talking about charging the MTW100's case actually comes with USB Type-C port for charging which is actually great and it can charge the case from 0 to 100 in 1 hour and 30 minutes. Now the balanced armature variant actually lasts for 7 hours which is the pods themselves last for 7 hours on a single charge and the box carries 24 hours of charge which means that it can charge it for about 3 times and the dynamic driver variant lasts for about 6 hours and it has about 21 hours of charge on the case itself. So the balanced armature variant again has an advantage and you know you're paying 1000 rupees extra for extra battery life as well. Having said that there is one specific reason more why you should spend that 1000 rupees more I'll get to that in a bit. Now coming back to the design the entire body is of course made of plastic and the lid actually has this free flow hinge design to it which is the metal hinge like this. Now this free flowing design is something that I kind of like but a lot of people might feel that it is flimsy but it's actually not to be entirely honest. Now you also get this lanyard loop with the retail packaging which is actually a very good addition because you can loop it behind the small hole on the rear which ensures that you don't lose this very easily. Now coming to the pods themselves, uh, they actually have this 3 pin connector uh, which connects to this easily and it's a magnetic one so it just sticks nicely. No problems over there at all. Now the MTW100 actually has touch controls on the pods themselves. What that means is that you can double tap to you know play pause the music or triple tap to change the songs. Now the triple tap function doesn't work really well because most of the times when you're doing triple tap it just registers a double tap and ends up pausing the music. So that's a bit of a letdown for me. Now these ear pods also come with a surrounding awareness board. Now that's really interesting because all you have to do is long press and it will enter the surrounding awareness mode and what happens is that it cuts down a lot of the environmental noise and if there's someone speaking or you know anything else that is happening in the environment that this deserves to be amplified that gets amplified and it sounds a lot cleaner and louder but the problem with that is just that at first it will feel a little disorienting having said that uh, you know once you start using it you won't stop using it it's really really useful uh, i used it a lot during my review period also before i forget like most truly wireless earbuds out there these don't come with controls for changing the volume so that is something that you'll have to do from your phone itself Moving on, these pebble-shaped pods fit really nice in the ears. It takes the shape of the ears and it's tuned to be, uh, you know, designed like your ears itself. So it sits in your ears nicely and the noise isolation by default, the passive noise isolation is really, really good. And the best part is, even if you do this a lot, it's not going to fall out of your ears. So it's great for workouts. 
also aiding workouts is the fact that it comes with IPX7 certification. So Shanling has gone all out with the design of the MTW100. I'm absolutely in love with all the features that you get with it. But you know what, what's the point of all these features if it doesn't sound good? Well, Shanling is a company that knows what it's doing. You know, after listening to these earphones, I would recommend the balanced armature variant of the MTW100 over and over and over again. It's got this fairly neutral sound signature with no particular emphasis on any frequency range. It's clean, it's detailed, and it's analytical. I absolutely love it. And you know what? It does this on regular SBC and AAC codecs. Actually, it runs on AAC on phones like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus or the uh, you know iPhone 11 Pro or any iPhone that you use. Imagine if these had AppTech support. That would be just crazy. Anyway, these use the Bluetooth 5.0 uh, you know standard for connecting, but uh, there is no support for connecting to two devices at once, which is a bit of a letdown. Otherwise, excellent sound quality. So let's start analyzing the sound and let's talk about the bass because that's what a lot of you guys care about. So talking about the bass, you can clearly tell when you're listening to both the earphones, you can clearly tell that the volume on the low end is a lot on the dynamic driver variant, which is understandable because dynamic drivers generally are tuned for you know more bass in general. Having said that, in a popular song like Mirza by Nuclear, you can clearly see that the bass is kind of bloated and it you know has a slow decay and it breaks into the other frequencies, which is a bit of a letdown. It doesn't have the kind of attack that the ba balanced armature ones have. And that is something that makes me feel that the balanced armature has better, more refined bass compared to the loose bass of the dynamic drivers. I absolutely love the bass performance of the balanced armature one. I am an audiophile and I'm okay and I can live with less bass, but please don't deny me the attack. And that is where, in a song like Mirza by Nuclear, I feel that the attack on the bass, uh, on the mid bass section, the sub bass section, all of that is really much better on the, uh, you know, balanced armature one. And the dynamic driver one is more bass, so, you know, a lot of people might like it, but the attack is better on the balanced armature one. Now, another reason why the balanced armature Noel's driver sounds better than the dynamic one is because the dynamics, no pun intended, are better on the balanced armature variant. If you guys haven't heard Surya Khan Sony's solo album, Jago, under the pseudonym Lefafa, you're missing out on some great music. I heard the track Candy from that album, and it's got these levels of volume that keep changing in the intro section so the volume levels go up and down and then you know you have this sort of sense of space being created where the music moves front and back it's sort of this dynamism that even wired earphones cannot recreate and the balanced armature one does it beautifully uh, that is something that completely blew my mind even the dynamic driver ones couldn't do it which is something that i really like about the balanced armature mtw 100 the dynamics are just incredible i haven't heard another pair of truly wireless earphones that could reproduce that you know change in dynamic sound levels in the song candy uh, by lifafa the mids and the treble response on the balanced armature variant is fairly neutral, natural, and fairly tight as well. I love listening to everybody from Jim Morrison to, you know, Asha Bosley to Shankar Madhavan, everybody. It's just great listening to vocals on the balanced armature, uh, you know, drivers of uh, the Shandling MTW100. Now, the treble has a bit of a roll off, but that makes it for a non-fatiguing experience, so it feels calmer, so which is great, which is definitely good. Another great tenet of a very good sounding pair of earphones is good imaging which is basically the instrument separation should be great now that is something that the balanced armature one tackles beautifully in fact even the dynamic driver ones do it really well that's where shanling shines entirely if you're upgrading from a pair of ultra budget uh, you know wireless or wired earphones around the thousand or you know two thousand range to something like the mtw 100 you're gonna listen to sounds that you haven't heard before so that is something that you will absolutely enjoy on the mtw 100 now that i've rained praises on the sound signature of the balanced armature variant it's not like the dynamic driver sounds bad it's just that i feel that the balanced armature is a lot more tighter and refined when it comes to the sound signature it's really really nice uh, something that i can recommend day in and day out on a pair of truly wireless earphones that too now another reason why a lot of you guys buy truly wireless earphones is to do calls on them. I tested them out and that is where the Shanling uh, MTW100 sort of 
takes a back seat for that if you want calls as priority i would suggest that you go for something like the realme buds air in fact if you want gaming as priority as well you should go for the real realme buds air because of the latency uh you know the low latency feature that is available on the realme buds air which is not available on this there is a bit of latency that you can definitely hear when you're playing games like pubg so that is something that's a bit of letdown this is purely for music not for gaming or even for calls for that matter i mean calls do take a hit You know what? I am completely floored by the Shining MTW 100. Of course, there are a couple of caveats. That is, uh, you know, the call quality is not that great, and the gaming has a bit of latency as well. But the balanced armature variant of the MTW 100 checks a lot of boxes for my needs. Good sound, check. Great connectivity, check. Good design, check. Wireless charging, check. Workout, check. Uh, what else? A great battery life. Check. So, what more do you need? I know. I know what you guys are thinking. Good price, and that's where Shanling has delivered once again. The MTW 100's balanced armature variant is available for rupees seven thousand, and the dynamic driver is actually one thousand rupees cheaper at rupees six thousand. At this price, trust me, they are punching above their weight. The only other pair of earphones that I can think of that sounds better than the Shanling MTW 100 right now is the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless, and that costs 25,000 rupees. So you see the price difference, right? So sound signature and sound quality-wise, the MTW 100 are definitely going to be in my bag for a long, long time. Heck, they're even better. than my current favorites the Samsung Galaxy Buds under rupees 10000 in fact if you're looking for a pair of you know truly wireless earphones under rupees 10000 i'm pretty sure you're eyeing the Galaxy Buds or you know you're eyeing something like the Realme Buds Air or the one more uh, truly wireless stylish truly wireless which i reviewed recently i mean better than these the Shanling MTW 100 balanced armature variant at least sonically is way better than them Way, way better than them. I have to put it out there. And in case you want more bass, you have the dynamic driver variant for one thousand rupees less that too. So Shanling has something for everyone. Well, that's it from me. I'm a shot from Mr. Phone. I hope you guys liked our review of the Shanling MTW one uh, hundred. Do let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it. Trust me, buy it from Headphone Zone if you can find your hands on one, because you're gonna love it. Until next time. This is Ashraf from Mr. Phone signing off. Goodbye and Godspeed, my friends.